Hey, it's Rob with Gold Standard. I'm your co-pilot guide showing you all the cool ways to use these new generative AI tools in Office on your next project. Get ready, this stuff is really gonna blow your mind. Copilot in PowerPoint is your new intelligent assistant. Helps you focus on what matters the most as you craft your presentation. Keeps you in the flow, saves you time, reduces rework, and enables you to leverage presentation best practices and all of the features and capabilities that are in PowerPoint today. You're seriously gonna look like a PowerPoint super user. Let's go. All right, let's start by opening a brand new PowerPoint blank presentation. Once you've done that, let's go ahead and go to the ribbon, go to home and then copilot, and then we'll launch the copilot wizard. Similarly to word, um, it brings up a few options of how we want to prompt copilot to get the conversation started. You can create a presentation from scratch, one from a file, or keep that dialogue going and maybe add a slide about something in particular after you've made your presentation. So let's start with the basics. Let's create a presentation about hybrid meeting best practices that include examples for team building. It's very specific, but if there's a goal in mind and there's some context in there, which is the right ingredients for Copilot in PowerPoint to get started. So let's do that. And Copilot created this great first draft of a PowerPoint based off our first prompt. Let's look it over, check if it's along the lines that we're looking for. And for those that love Designer, I know I do, uh, Designer is integrated directly into Copilot Chat. Comes up as an option here, just select the slide and let Designer save you time giving you ideas for the perfect layout. I mentioned earlier that Copilot is going to try to leverage as many of the features and capabilities that are available in PowerPoint today in its responses back to you. Now check this out. If I click the presentation mode, I have a moving title image. It's pretty neat. Here's my favorite part um, that I didn't even ask Copilot to do, um, but it did this automatically in its response. And those are speaker notes. Every single slide, I have speaker notes now. I can continue to iterate on them, but that's going to save me a ton of time as I'm trying to rehearse this presentation. And you could think of the other possibilities of just how much time this will save you in the long run. Let's show you how to do a few other things with Copilot Chat that's going to save you a ton of time. We all have that workflow. You've been given a project. You're starting that project off in Word. You're eventually going to need to make a PowerPoint about it and present to leaders, your team, a customer, what have you. Copilot Chat can eliminate so many of those steps and save you a lot of time by creating your first draft of that presentation based on that Word document. You're just going to select that create presentation from file prompt here. You can also have an existing PowerPoint that you want to add another slide um, to. So for this example, I can add another slide about the meeting purpose, ask uh, Copilot to elaborate or expand on that a little bit more and add another slide. And if you're ever staring at this Copilot dialog box and you're not even sure where to start, come down here to view prompts. These are canned prompts and they're really there to help you out. So they're segmented out in create, edit, ask. Create is going to have prompts around, you guessed it, creating. Uh, Copilot creating stuff for you. Editing and then ask. Um, I mentioned this because this could be really helpful if you receive a PowerPoint that's maybe you know 70 slides long and you are in a time pinch and you need to understand what are the key takeaways for that PowerPoint. So you can ask Copilot to sum up the, the PowerPoint for you and give you the key key points so you're ready for your meeting. Okay, let me show you how to put everything together that I just showed you and put it into a workflow that you can use in your day to day. Just pay attention to the prompts that I'm using and how I'm using Copilot. And really uh, what I'm trying to show is how rapidly you can build these things. All right, our example is there's a company called Gold Standard and I want Copilot to make a presentation about their performance in Q1 of 2023. The context that I'm providing, it's very brief, but it'll work. The earnings report beat investors' expectations. All right, Copilot made our presentation. It's time for our second prompt. Presentation is looking good, by the way. Our second prompt is that we want Copilot to make another slide about Gold Standard's core products, which are AI services such as implementation and LMM training. Slide looks great. Let's go with Designer, see what if it has some great ideas of how to 
make this look even better. And I like, I like this one. Now I want Copilot to organize my presentation. And it just gave my PowerPoint a lot of structure. I could easily jump to different sections. It just did that for me. And you can also notice that in the Copilot dialog box, it also called all of that out as well, what it did. You could always undo it if you want to. For my last example, I'm gonna select this slide. I don't really like this image, so I'm gonna ask Copilot to put a different one in there. 